Hi, come on in. So this is the finished apartment tour. If you guys remember my last video, I did an empty apartment tour. So if you guys haven't seen that already, I will leave a link over here and you guys can check it out. But today we're gonna be doing the finished apartment tour. It did take a few months. I wanted to do end-to-end -end furnishing and also pretty much decor. So I can proudly say that it's finally done. It's been a minute, but I'm ready to show you guys now. Right here is the entrance and what I've done here is I've built this little nook. This thing is from Ikea and basically this is just a really minimal way to show and store shoes. You don't really see the shoes that visibly and this is also the entrance area so I just have a few perfumes here. Just on my way out I can you know take a few puffs and stuff and then this is just usually for my jewelry or some keys. I'll leave it here as well and last minute mirror check on the way out. So on this side, I built these shoe racks because I have very minimal storage since this is only a one bedroom apartment. So I wanted to build this just by the entranceway to kind of help store the shoes. And then we did it all the way to the very top to extend the shoe storage. I also built these hooks here basically for guests who come by or even for me when I wanted to leave my coats, the ones that I use really frequently. And I got this ottoman here. Just, you know, if you wanna sit down and put on your shoes, you can. This is from HomeSense, if anybody is wondering. It was actually really cheap, so I highly recommend. Okay, so going to the bathroom, if you guys remember from my empty apartment tour, I actually didn't mention this part, but I actually paid them to switch the door direction because initially the door was opening to the inside, which was actually very inconvenient because every time you stepped out of the shower and you needed to get out, you needed to pretty much shimmy by the door. So ever since I switched the door direction, it's been helping a lot. So now it opens out this way and it gives more space into the bathroom. So this is pretty much the finished bathroom. You've already seen the bathroom finished before, so I won't go too much into detail. I think the only thing that I didn't really add at the time was the curtains. So I added these ones. This is really cute. This is also from HomeSense. And the shower rod here is actually from the same collection as all of the hardware. So this is by the brand Moen, which I also got from Wayfair. Some of the new things that I also added for the shower is I added these little hooks here I got these off of Amazon. I'll leave all the links down below, but this is just a really good way to hang my razor and also my loofah as well. And now moving on to this side of the bathroom, some of the things that I've added, this is already existing from the apartment tour before, but down here is my nighttime routine for skincare and up here is the hair care routine and everything I've placed in order of how I use the products. So that way I don't really miss a step because sometimes when the products are all over the place your head kind of just gets confused so now that I put it in order I know exactly which one to use after which one my skincare and hair occasionally changes so this is not always what it is but this is what it is for now the other thing that I've added is also the picture frames so these frames are all from Ikea the frames that we're gonna be going through today are gonna be all from Ikea I added another rod for towels because initially I only had the one hook up there and it wasn't enough so I added this the other thing I added was this toilet paper holder I also explain this in one of my favorites videos, but it's just a really good way for me to keep track of how many toilet papers I have left. Because if I can't see, sometimes you run into that problem where you run out of toilet paper. I actually kept this garbage can here on purpose because I feel like a lot of apartment tours, people leave out the garbage can and it's like, I kind of want to see a realistic image of what goes on. This garbage can is from Ikea and it's only $2 and I like it because I can use my plastic bags and not let it go to waste from all the stores that you go to and pay five cents for. On our way to the bedroom, this is the hallway and I've also added this little photo gallery here and these frames once again are also from Ikea. So this is just a really good way to make the hallway a little bit nicer and not super boring because before these frames were installed, I just felt like this hallway was extremely plain. And now that this is here, I just feel like it gives a little something and something nice to look at. And I also have a lot of pictures of my family on this wall. Okay, so going into 
the bedroom. This is what my bedroom looks like. As you guys know from the previous video, my bedroom isn't the biggest, so it was really important for me to make the most out of what I already have. So here, I just wanna go through each piece by piece. Basically, no matter how I've thought about the arrangement of this bedroom, the best way was to have the bed here. And it was actually almost better structurally for me to have this Ikea Pax wardrobe because without it, the bed structure would have been also kind of awkward. So this gave me more storage. This is, like I said, the wardrobe from Ikea Pax. This is also my closet. I needed the extra storage for my clothing since this doesn't provide a lot of storage itself. I also have my little working desk right here and this working station is just perfectly fitting in my little nook and I also have an air purifier pretty much right here so it really cleans the air. Everything here is from Ikea. This table is actually supposed to just be right underneath but I pulled it out a little bit just to get that extra little room because it's really important to me. Just kind of wanted to talk about the bed situation. My bed is from ND as you guys saw from the previous video. The duvet I have here is from The Bay and I got this rug also from Ikea. All of my laundry is actually down here. I have these really minimal Ikea storage boxes because I like to sort my laundry in four different categories, which is really insane. But at least this is a really nice way for me to keep everything out of the way. I just wanted to point out that all the frames are from Ikea and all the pictures are from Desenio. So yeah, that's pretty much the bedroom now we can go on to the kitchen and the living room okay so on the way to the kitchen and living room i built this thing here and this i also talked about in i believe one of my favorites videos this is from amazon and this is actually supposed to be a nail polish holder but i don't actually have that much nail polish so instead i use it for all my lip products and all my sunglasses and it's just a really nice thing for me to see on my way out because if i need to grab a lipstick color i can grab it on my way out and then apply it in front of the entranceway so i really like to have this piece here as well and it's just a nice decor piece. Okay, so moving into the kitchen, you guys have seen the kitchen from before, so I won't go into the hardware, but I will go through some of the things that I've purchased. So here I just have the soap area. I have this little mason jar from Michaels. I have this little tray from H&M. I feel like this is just really nice to hold the soap in. I actually do have a matching mason jar for hand soap, which I need to switch this into, but I haven't done that yet. In the kitchen, once again, I actually try to leave things as realistically as possible. So even if it's not like too aesthetically pleasing, at least you guys know like what I use on a daily basis. Here we have a Google Home Max. I got this for my birthday. It's honestly such a great thing to have in the kitchen. You can watch TV. Basically when you wake up in the morning and go to the kitchen, it'll tell you your schedule. It'll tell you the weather. It's just amazing to have. So I highly recommend. So going now through just pretty much like in order of my kitchen, I have my knife set here. I have my Brita filter. I really don't like fridge water. So I still prefer my Brita. This is just wine that I haven't finished. And you guys know I love this brand. I talk about JLor all the time. Here, this is the one piece that I was like, it's not aesthetically pleasing but I'm just gonna leave it here. So I wanted to talk about this because I just like think it's so practical. I have this to hold my cutting board and I also have this to hold my lid. I just find that when you're cooking, every time you're like trying to take off your lid, you never know where to put it. And I got this little thing from Amazon. So while I'm cooking, I actually have a place to put like the really hot lid and not just on the counter or something like that. And it also is like a really nice area to dry my knives or whatever it is in the meantime. Here I have my little salt and pepper shaker and this is actually from Canadian Tire and the reason why I really like it is because it's actually electric. You don't have to use your hands to grind it. You can actually just press the button at the top and it will grind it for you. I highly recommend. You can get it at Canadian Tire and maybe online. I'll try to find one online. Here is the coffee station. So I'll kind of go through this again. I've worked with Keurig for a while now. So you guys know I love my Keurig. I use it pretty much every morning. I have this little container. This is just with collagen. Take my coffee with collagen to help my hair and nails grow. So that's why I leave it here because I just take it with my coffee. I have all my K-cups here. And this is also new from Keurig. I just got this frother and it is honestly so amazing. I usually drink my coffee black, so I don't use this all the 
all the time, but when I'm feeling really fancy or I want a cappuccino or whatever it is, I will definitely use this. So this actually not only froths your coffee, but it also warms it up. So if you guys like to froth or warm up your milk, this is a really great device and everything's automatic. So you don't need to hold your hand and like, I sound so lazy because like it's not even that much work, but this is automatic. Next here we have my kettle. This is from Costco and this is just a really nice and clean kettle that I really like to use. It actually tells you the temperature when you're using it. So you can adjust the temperature accordingly. And it's also just easy to clean because it's glass. Okay, so that's pretty much the kitchen tour going on to the living room now. So the living room is just right here. This is what it looks like overall. I'll start off, I guess, maybe from that corner and I'll show you guys pretty much the entirety of the living room. So in this corner here, we have my vanity slash makeup table. It was very important to me to have a desk and a vanity because I really like sitting down and doing my makeup. I don't like to do my makeup in the bathroom. Another reason why I wanted like a makeup station or table, I do have a lot of makeup and I have a big collection. So doing it in the bathroom, I just won't have a lot of space to put my makeup. So that's why I needed like a little makeup station. All of these like acrylic cases and stuff that you see, they're all from Muji. I also got it during like their promo sale and stuff. Here I also have another little Google Home thing. It's just really good to have this here because while I'm doing my makeup, I like to cast something so I can like watch TV or something like that. I know it sounds like I just watch a lot of TV, but this is my mirror. This is actually from Costco. I just love it because it's plugged in and there's a light that you can use at all times. So here, yeah, once again, like all these little acrylic things are from Muji and I just have pretty much all my makeup here. I don't like how outside it is, but I do really like that it's very reachable, but I think I'm still trying to find a better solution because it does look a little bit crowded, but so far it's been very practical. It's just, I guess the visual aesthetic is not my favorite at the moment. So until I find a better solution, this is just gonna be what it is. Okay, so moving on to this side, this is my living room gallery wall. And here I actually got this inspiration online for this gallery wall, but I got these little stands here from Ikea and these frames are also from Ikea and I just pretty much decorated this. The prints once again are from Desenio. I just added like little vases. I also added like perfume. It's very important to me to have very low maintenance plants slash dried plants because I cannot take care of plants to save my life. And you'll see one as an example later or two, but these are all pretty much dried. So I don't need to do anything. The cacti, I just spray it once in a blue moon. So it's been okay. The tabletop here is just, you know, more decor pieces, pictures of, you know, my family, I have just little knickknacks like here and this is my travel perfume collection. I just like to have this here if anybody wants to take one or use. This is just here for people. And then this side is once again just random decor pieces. I feel like I'm not going to go through each and every one. I'll try to leave everything I can in the description box or if you guys have any questions and there was something specific that you want to link to, you can leave it in the comment down below and I will try to find it for you. The one thing I forgot to mention is that these are just drawers for my clothes. So so I, at the time, needed more storage. So this is why this is here. So I have more clothes. Mostly this is just like workout clothing, pajamas, t-shirts, whereas everything in the closet is mostly hangable or my sweaters. So moving on to the couch area, this couch, I actually get a lot of questions about. This is from Ikea and this is called the Vimmel couch. I'll try to leave a link. Surprisingly, this couch is so comfortable and it is also extremely affordable. It's not in the thousands. I think it was only about like $500. I got it a few years ago and till this day it is so comfortable. And another thing I really like about it is because you can take off all of this fabric to wash in the washing machine. And also there's a lot of storage under here as well. So it works out really well, especially if you also live in a small apartment. This coffee table is from West Elm. I get a lot of questions about this coffee table as well. This tray is also from Ikea and most of the stuff on the couch are from HomeSense or 
Marshall slash winners, basically TJ Maxx. On this side, starting with the mirror, this mirror I actually got from Wayfair. And what I really like about this mirror is that there's actually like a stand in the back. So I can lean this up against the wall, but if I wanted to move this in front of my bedroom, if I wanted to change clothing, I can, and it can stand on its own pretty well. So that's why I really like it, but it is kind of expensive. It's like $200, so I don't know if it's really that worth it, to be honest. So over here is my TV, and I get a lot of questions about this entertainment stand as well. This is called the Besta and it's also from Ikea. With the Besta, if you search it up, you might not get this exact image because it's very customizable. So you can make it look like this or you can make it look completely different, but that's what the entertainment unit is called. And over here, there's not really much to say except for this thing. I just like to leave some of the things that I use pretty frequently, like my X-Acto knife, my lighter for my candles, my remote. It's just like a very nice hidden thing when you're sitting down, you can't really see it. This picture, I just feel like I always have to explain myself because it's like very conceited to have a picture of yourself. But I was saying how it's only because this picture was taken by the collective you, which is the photographer who takes a lot of pictures for the Kardashians and even the beavers at their wedding. So that's why I was like, I need to frame this. Not because I'm like, I need to look at myself, but rather just because the photographer is really good. But here I also have a mounted TV wall stand and stuff. So everything on here, like even if I'm cooking in the kitchen, I can adjust it. Or if I'm sitting in a different corner, I can adjust my TV. It's just a really good way for the TV to also be elevated. The actual mount here is from Costco. So it was pretty affordable and I really like it and highly recommend. So on this side here, oh, this is my dead plant. I tried planting this a while ago. I think you guys might have seen it in my vlog, but it is now dead. I just cannot keep plants alive. So this is why I just need to stick to cacti and like dry plants. This is also from Ikea. This is, I don't know what people typically use it for, but I personally use it as a linen closet. So inside I just have all of these sheets and stuff. So like my bed sheets, my towels, and it's just like a very nice way to kind of display it and also grab the things that you need. So this is like my linen closet. It. These posters, once again, pictures from Desenio and frames are from Ikea. And I just have a few coffee table books up here as well. This is another dead plant. I actually got this from Ikea and it was actually really nice, but I just could not keep it alive. So it's just here dead for you to see. And then this vase is actually really nice. I'm just waiting for some dried flowers that I can put this in, but this is from Ikea as well. So that is pretty much it. I think I have gone over everything. The last thing I wanted to mention are my bar chairs. These chairs are actually from Structube and they're called the poly chairs. To be honest, the chairs themselves are extremely comfortable, but the one thing was their customer service was so bad. I think that's like the only complaint I have, but otherwise the product itself is really great and it's just very minimal. And I really like the back of this chair, like especially when you're looking at it from the living room, it just looks really nice from behind. And it also still has this gold accent going. So it goes with everything in the living room, which is pink and gold. So that's pretty much it for the apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I know you guys have been waiting for it for a while, but I hope it's been worth the wait because it took a really long time for me to put everything together. And I also had a lot of help as well from Lucas. So he did a lot of the building stuff. So I really, really appreciate that he did all of that for me. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished apartment tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.